Because when you look at the figures, we have an increment. This, this year, the A's were 0.14 compared to 0.13 in the previous year. But again, the other thing that we are assuring the country is that uh, we have enough capacity even for those who have gotten D plus uh, uh, and D for them to be able to join our Tibetan institutions. So uh, uh, we, we have said that uh, the most impressive thing we have had this year is that over 200 A and A minors come from our day schools and uh, moving forward we are going to make sure that we have enough and adequate infrastructure in our day schools and equally uh, uh, ensure that we have enough teachers in that particular area because 66% of our students are actually in day schools. Yeah, thank you very much. We have been doing it each and every time in Nairobi, but uh, moving forward, because anywhere within the country, may it be in Edoret, may it be in Kisumu, may it be in Mombasa, we are still in Kenya. So uh, moving forward, we will not only be doing it in Nairobi, but moving around the regional centers and even the county centers within the country. Uh, we, we don't do that because we said ranking, uh, I think, was suspended some time ago. And, uh, uh, of course, they would be able to check this one from their respective schools. Uh, if it is a national or even a day school, uh, once the students access their research, they would be able to know if it is an A of 83 uh, points or if it is an A of 84 points or 85, they would be able to know that one they access the research from the schools. Yeah, thank you very much. We are actually making sure that each and every school uh, conforms to the directives issued by the ministry and the amount of school fees which is supposed to be paid for national schools is 53,000 Kenya shillings and for county schools is 45,000. So our sub-county directors of education and the county uh, directors of education have been informed and instructed to ensure that no other school, no such school, reviews an additional uh, uh, school fees. And we are going to make sure we follow that. And in case you get any, kindly uh, give us the information. Yeah, thank you. You know admissions are done uh, by the ministry and that exercise has, has already been done such that the principals don't have a railway where they can be able to admit the students. If it is this particular school, uh, it is done through a computerized system and that one is already done. So the principal will not be able to have an opportunity of admitting students because that is already done. We have been doing an assessment, uh, a kind of mop-up, and initially we were thinking that the number was 9,000, but uh, later on we were able to confirm that the only uh, number we have is 2,000. So we know where they are, and they will be able to be given admission, uh, most likely in the county or sub-county schools. They will be able to proceed with their studies because we, we, we have a policy of 100%, and uh, after they are done two years in secondary schools, we will then be able to administer an exam before they are able to undertake their form for exam. Yes, as I've said, uh, the 5% who got an E, the quality assurance officers and the teachers, we are going to make sure that we get what the problem is, so that progressively moving forward, we see uh, how we can be able to get an improvement, because we want, moving forward, the lowest degree to be a D plus and above.